All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Glen Monarch nine hole cup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number nine. All three of these par fives are difficult holes, but of, of the par fives, this one is the easiest to get over to the landing area, and it's just all about executing that second shot. Now what I'm going to do here is no more than two top spin. And this is a shot for an apocalypse. Now, I, the top spin's not going to, it doesn't matter that I don't have max top spin. I'm losing a little bit in distance, but I'm actually having to pull it back a little. And so the curl is going to be the, the factor here. So I'm going to select an apocalypse level two. I'm going to switch this out. Actually, I'm going to change this around again here. Hold on. I'm going to switch to this bag right here and put an apocalypse in this bag. So I've got all my normal suspects, and I think all I need now is a Titan, and I have one. Now you could help yourself here with a three side spin ball, <clears throat> and this might be this might be the hole to bring out a three side spin ball. Because you're going to need every bit of that power. All right, we'll see how that works. The goal is, is the more you can get to the left, the shorter the second shot is to the cup. And the more you can get to the left, the better. So anything we can do, three side spin, driver with more curl. We're not looking at the distance here because we are having to pull the ball back a little. Okay, I want to give myself plenty of room down in this hole. I want to be a couple rings off. No more than two side spin, or excuse me, two top spin. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. My apocalypse at this level, which I didn't check. I'm going to say that's about a ring and a half. I think it's somewhere in that neighborhood. We're going to put on all the curl. Isn't it perfect? Let's see if that wind adjustment was right. Probably should write that number down if I'm going to use a club. <laughs> I told everybody to find out your numbers for your short iron, and here I didn't find out my number for my driver. Now, it doesn't look like I netted a whole lot of distance, but that little bit of distance that I netted is huge if you use an extra mile. So with an extra mile, you're going to end up right about straight forward, maybe just a little bit to the left of that. But where I ended up right there with a three side spin ball and that much curl on a level two apocalypse, that little bit of distance, that 15 yards is monstrous. Now this is a hole where you can absolutely get done with the katana, but with that much top spin on there, there's a really good chance they're going to end up and they didn't take the wind out. So if they actually clear the rough here with that much top spin, they're going to end up in the sand if they clear the rough here. It takes no more than two top spin. That's the thing. And it, I mean, it, but the thing is, is you can get over easy with any ball right there. The problem is, is that it's not that shot. It's this shot right here. I'm using a three power ball with a big dog. And I mean, I picked up that little bit of extra distance, which really, really helped. I'm going to put just a titch of backspin on it. I'm going to take the wind out. This hits about 2-4, so it leaves me 4, so maybe a ring and a fifth. I want to make sure the ball goes to the left, so I'm going to, put, I'm going to rub up against the nubs. Hitting it perfect. And let's see how far I get with that backspin. So the last time I came here, I put on about two top spin, and I ended up blowing over here into the rough. So curious to see if a little bit of backspin would woe me up too much. And I think right there, I, I hate coming into these where you don't put anything on, you don't put any top spin on them at all, because you really it's. But maybe in that situation right there, no top spin would have been fine, because that landing area I was in down there is pretty repeatable. There wasn't anything special on that. I didn't do anything. I brought the right ball and the right club for that shot. But with the setup there, you can repeat that shot over and over again. And then it's just working on the second shot. So the first time here with that second shot, I put on too much top spin. And now I put on, I didn't put on quite enough. 
But I do have a makeable putt here. Get a great to the right or left. It may not go in. Whew, that was close. So I got two of the par fives I got eagles on. One of them with a max overpower hook and one of them here um, working that shot. But here it's all about the drive. You've got to put yourself in the right spot to give yourself a lot of, a lot of chance for success. What you're going to see a lot of people is they're so far back that with their big dog, their first bounce is here in the rough. So they have to put a little teeny bit of overpower on it. And I really don't like using overpower and topspin that combo. Because if you get too much overpower on it, that top spin can really take you for a ride. So I like that distance there because I was able to get all the way past that rough. And now it's just a matter of dialing in that top spin so I can get closer and not have to do that putt. So I think next time I'm going to put on no top spin and, and see how far that gets me onto the fairway. All right, that was hole number nine of the Glen Monarch nine hole cup. Let's see where that puts us. That puts us in first for now, but that's not going to hold. So let's see where we got six. And this person stopped when they, they were killing it at the beginning. Six, seven, eight, nine. They got a 10. They, they got a pretty good round going on right there. But it doesn't really matter to me where I end up here as long as I make the weekend round because I think in the weekend round, my goal in the weekend round is going to be a 14 or a 15. I'm looking to absolutely, I've been working these holes to try and figure out the best way to approach them so that in the weekend round, if I'm on my game, I can go out there and just hammer it. If I'm not on my game, I'll end up with another 10. <laughs> And that's the way it works. All right, that was the Glen Monarch 9-Hole Cup and Friday's qualifying round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.